Um, good evening and welcome to our next Magnum York webinar, MyR Planner, a foolproof approach to reserve fund management. Whether you are new or a returning attendee, we're so glad you could, could join us this evening. Uh, for this evening's presentation, following a brief update from Magnum York, Steve Laidlaw of Reserve Plus will go through a live demonstration of the MyR Planner software that we are so excited to share with you. We will be sure to save some time at the end for some Q&A. Uh, for any questions throughout the webinar, please post them in the Q&A chat box and we will do our best to address them all. I am the only moderator this evening, so please bear with me. Um, lastly, we will share a summary of this evening's content in a webinar recap blog post. Um, please feel free to share this with any board members that were unable to attend or anyone that you think that uh, would find this interesting. My name is Holly Uswa, and I am pleased to once again be your host for this evening's webinar. I am the business relationship manager for Magnum York, and I manage our My Vendor Preferred Vendor program. The Magnum York My Vendor Preferred Vendor program is something we are very proud to share with our customers. The program is simple and efficient and is Alberta wide with over 100 licensed and insured trades to work with. My role as the My Vendor Program Leader is to manage our vendor relationships, allowing for more time for our property managers to work with you, our customers. Our preferred vendors also bring great educating opportunities for our customers through various means, including guest blog posts, uh, many of which you see here on the screen. Our preferred vendors are experts in their fields and we are grateful that they share their expertise with us and you. Uh, we are also pleased to partner with our preferred vendors for continuous learning opportunities for our customers and staff with our monthly webinars and internal staff training seminars. And this is just a list of a few of the ones that we've done so far with um, many more to come. That we're very excited to bring to you. And speaking of great learning opportunities, Magnum York has these eBooks that we are delighted to share with you. Uh, we encourage you to download them to help you with your role as a condo board member, um, how to be a great condo board director, financial reference quick guide, condo rules and responsibilities, and guidance for virtual AGMs, we all think would be really helpful for all of you. And lastly, but certainly not least, be sure to download our condo board orientation guide to help you know how to best work with your property manager and Magnum York so we can all be super successful together. Now that you know a little more about the guides that we have available for you and the My Vendor program, I would like to extend a special thank you to the behind the scenes team members that have helped us put this webinar together. Peter Best, Magnum York's president and broker. Jessica Davies, our communications specialist, who unfortunately couldn't join us tonight. And Stephen King, our chief customer officer and all the staff at Magnum York. I am pleased to now introduce you to Stephen King as he provides an update on Magnum York. Hello, everyone. Holly, am I using, are you gonna click on the next slide for me? Is that how we're doing this? Okay. Yeah, I can right. do this for you. Bing. Do I have to say Bing or anything? Or, or no, move? you're good. You're good. I mean, if I miss it, let me know, but I'll try and keep up. <laughs> right. Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we're back in the fall, and we're back at the educational content and just trying to figure out everything that's going on in our industry, which moves at a 1,000 miles an hour, as we all know. So uh, between what's happening in, in December with uh, RICA, new RICA licensing and uh, new builder lien um, uh, legislation coming out. Uh, we're just trying to stay on top of all this stuff for both our staff as well as you guys. So uh, we put a lot of effort into making sure that happens. Uh, I, I don't want to spend too much time talking about us, but uh, Magnum York um, is uh, um, Alberta's property manager. We like to think of ourselves. Uh, we manage 750 properties in 30 communities across Alberta uh, from six locations. So thank you very much for being our customers. I did want to make a notion on my customer care. Um, my customer care is, a, is, is what we call our, our sort of consolidated uh, service and ticket managing system. And there's, I, I just wanted to highlight that there's three ways to get a hold of us. Um, and this is all education that we're rolling out for everybody just to, to help understand how we're trying to uh, um, uh, put our systems together. But um, you can always call us, the email web forms and my customer web access, which is our, our online portal for um, our owners. Uh, and we also have a form, uh, ways to do forms as well. So you can print the forms that we're giving you to you. Um, we have forms that are online now. 
uh, and um, and we accept forms uh, through PDFs uh, through email as well. And that all goes into our big system, and it's all related to the portals that are available to both yourselves, which is uh, my web portal for boards, uh, as well as my customer web access for uh, owners. So uh, just trying to be uh, as efficient as possible with our service ticket management as we as we see more and more uh, service tickets go through our systems. Thanks, Holly. Uh, my customer care is part of what we call my advantage, which is technology for efficient and consistent property management. Um, uh, I have a computer science degree. In fact, uh, Pete Best, the broker here um, uh, and CEO, uh, president of uh, Magnum York, um, he also has a, uh, a computer science degree. So we've put a lot of computer science and a lot of connectivity around our systems to hook things together to make them more efficient. So for example, one of the things that we, we do for our preferred vendors or my vendors is they get paid on weekly pay cycles. And we, we can do that because we have efficient systems to push that stuff together. Um, just like the web portals, you can see all the vendors invoices and all the checks and all the stuff that we scan. So we rely on technology to support you, but we not to replace our, our human relationships. It's all about trying to be um, available to you um, with the data that's uh, available to us. Ping. Oh, my customer web access. Uh, you're going to get a copy of this slide deck afterwards. So these links are going to be there for you. So there's the one for condo owners. And the next slide is the one for the board members. There's 19 financial statement reports on this thing. You can see all your service issues, um, all the bylaw infractions that have, done, have, been, have been put out. So it's a great way uh, and it's read only data off our systems and it's live. So you get to see exactly what we're, what we're doing. So, um, and all boards uh, should be should have access to this now. If you don't, just ask your property manager to get invited because uh, uh, you need to receive an invitation for it. Next slide. And the latest innovation we want to share with you guys is MyR Planner, which is uh, what Steve's company is bringing to the table, Steve Laidlaw here. And I'm gonna let uh, Pete Best take over and just kind of introduce that as well as uh, say hi. Thanks guys. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Holly. So yeah, so um, our planner is a product that we're really excited about. Um, reserve funds in general aren't very exciting. As you guys all know, every five years you update your plan, you look at it, it looks okay because you expect the reserve fund planner is going to give it to you correctly. You kind of approve it and move on. And the benefit of the software is it makes it able to manage your reserve fund more often and much easier to do that. So if there was a time where you had to move something around on a reserve fund because an emergency popped up or your reserve fund's a little too tight, um, we'd have to spend hours building spreadsheets and calculations to figure out how we could adjust that money from, from this now to there and move this money back here and then up here and make it all work so that in 20 years, you can still replace your windows as planned. And that was always a big hassle to do that. So the benefit of the software is that we can do that kind of stuff. So. I want to talk about the software in general. So normally when it comes to software, as Steve said, uh, we have science, computer science degrees. So my level of what I expect from the software is pretty high. Um, not too many times does software actually impress me too often, I have to say. I always want more. I'm like, oh, I see the benefit, but let's do more and more and more. Um, so when we had this, this software shown to us, uh, I got to tell a story. I'm sorry, Holly, I need a little more time. I got to tell a story about when I met Steve, Steve for the first time. Um, he asked for 90 minutes of, of me and Stephen King's time. And I said, there's no way. I'm not spending 90 minutes on a reserve fund. It's a reserve fund. How hard can it be? And so we said, I, said, I got you a half hour. It's all you can get. Well, I can tell you at 93 minutes, I had to run out of that meeting to another meeting because I was so enthralled with the software. It impressed me so much. I had more questions and more dig-ins and more thoughts on it. And can it do this? Can, can we handle this? And can we handle that? It was amazing. And it just, like, I wish I could spend another hour with them just, design, just talking about the software itself. It was such a good tool. That's how good the tool was. It really, really impressed me to stay that long. So um, the software does, is, is pretty impressive. Um, it really helps the board make those decisions rather than doing big spreadsheets and everything else. It allows the boards to, to make some real decisions that affect your property. So what about moving that roof forward a little bit? What happens if you move that roof back a little bit farther, a bit closer to now and not do it so later? It really helps that stuff. And then the add-ons to the product, such as like allowing vendors to build a quote on, on items really easily, to be able to go to vendor quoting really simply, to look at a five-year plan in a very simple view. Um, Steve, uh, Stephen's going to show us the thing, but there's a, there's a way that he shows the five-year plan in a vertical mode. It's it's amazing. And, and I've been telling people since I saw the software, it's probably the biggest change I've seen in reserve funds um, in the 14 years I've been doing this. I just can't see a better product for it. And just the way he looks at it differently, because he's not, he doesn't come from the condo world. He comes from the engineering world that actually looks at things differently. And it's, it's an awesome view of it all. Mm -hmm. So well done. So really, really impressed. So 
I'll stop talking, let the guy actually explain the software and show you the software talk. But anyways, I want to welcome Stephen Laylaw to the, to the presentation. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming, presenting to our, our clients today. And, and I'm going to interject here as well, because there's two ways that you can use this software. One is that you can just use it as software. If you have a reserve fund study that exists already, you buy the software license, the reserve fund study goes in there. It's, in fact, Steve Teams helps you with that, right? And remember, it's not only the reserve fund study, but you can produce annual plans from it. So the other way you can buy it is you can actually get Steve's team to do the, uh, the reserve fund studies. They're really good at what they're doing. It's a team of engineers. And, uh, and then when they do it, you also, you don't buy it all at once. You buy it on a subscription basis. So you pay a certain amount every year. And so um, I'm not 100% sure what those details are, uh, but uh, we'll get those to you um, just so you know that uh, there's tiny, kind of two ways you can use the software. And now I'll be quiet as well. Okay, I will. Uh... Stop sharing my presentation here, Steve, and you can take over. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Um, thanks, Peter, Holly, and Stephen for a fantastic introduction, and thank you for having me, and, and everyone that's attending, thanks for for attending. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you uh, how our, our product works here. So um, I'll start by sharing my screen. And um, as we go through this, I'm going to start with... Um, um, by showing you just our, our, our reserve fund study, the reserve fund study itself, and show you kind of some of the, the, the things that we do in that study and, and um, some of the things I think we do better than a, a, a regular reserve fund study. Um, and then I'm going to move into the software itself, show you how we can um, take any reserve fund study, like Stephen said, from, from any provider, load it into our software and um, start providing diagnostics or analytics on that reserve fund study, um, making annual updates to it. Um, I'll talk about some services where we've partnered with some construction companies where they'll basically audit the old reserve fund study and, and um, bring the actuals from today uh, as an update into the reserve fund study, which then can be loaded into our software to, to update um, the 30-year forecast and, and, and build out that five-year plan, as, as Stephen was mentioning. Um, and then finally, I'll, I'll go through uh, a review of our quotation request platform, um, uh, which also got brought up. It's, it's just a quick and easy way to um, pre prepare a request to, to, to be sent out to the, the various vendors. Um, and, and, and then they have the opportunity to load those uh, um, Quote, quotes into the system and it's got a little bit of a um, comparison across all the quotes that then are loaded in there. So um, I think it saves property managers time, saves the condo board time and um, I'll show you it all. So um, to start here uh, on, on the right hand side of this, this dashboard that we have, um, there's these buttons for downloading. So the first one is download your reserve fund study. Uh, the next one is if you want to have to download your invoices and then the last one is your master service agreement and by clicking that it'll just um, um, provide a pdf in your download bar which can then be brought up and so this is an example of our uh, um, premium reserve fund study uh, this reserve fund study that i'm showing you we will actually stamp and sign um, with our a peg of permit to practice engineering so um, we kind of have a, a two-tiered system. One is a, a little bit more basic and it, it doesn't come with quite as much details and it's not signed and stamped as an engineered reserve fund study. Um, and as a result, that it's a, a little bit more affordable. And then we have this premium report, um, which has more detail. It's a little bit more into the, the, the actual calculations that we're doing to, to prepare this reserve fund study and a little bit more detail into the condition of the property itself. Um, and then as well, it, it actually has our permit to practice and signatures from our responsible members on it. And I'm, I can show you that signature page here a little bit later, but. Um, Steve, I don't, I don't mean to interject, but I just want to make it sure everyone's clear on what this is. So he didn't, it, that's just not a PDF that was brought up. That was generated by all the data that's in his system. That's right. So that's yeah. not a static PDF. That's, that's just the study and it's done and over with. You can generate these at any point. <laughs> that's correct. So, um, as we're going through here, this is our executive summary. So it gives you the 30 year forecast. Um, it outlines a uh, recommendation for uh, annual contribution, um, talks about some specific recommendations on um, 
on, on some of your more critical components in, in, I guess, that make up your condominium um, that were recognized while we were on site. And um, so that's, that's the first page. This is actually the most important part of the whole reserve fund study because it, it, it highlights your next 30 years and um, basically recommends what your contribution to the reserve fund study should be next year. Um, as you come into it further, we have the summary. And so it just lays out what your condo name is, how big it is, how many units there are. Um, we break down the expenditure analysis. And so um, I guess this is just for interest sake, you know that 13% is related to the property, 60% is the envelope, 9% interior and 14% mechanical. So over the next 30 years, that's the percentages as they break down. And so you can identify, I guess, what your most critical upcoming, you know, typically your a building envelope project, I think everyone knows is your most um, cost intensive part of, of uh, I guess, capital replacement project that you can have. And then as well, we break it down in the next five years and then five years plus. So you can, again, just see what your next five years um, of expenditures looks like. Um, we do a condition analysis and we run this, this radar graph, which um, in this case of the um, components out there, 40 of them were considered good, 13 average, five poor, none of them were brand new. And as a result, we have this property condition score, which, which is a 58. Um, it's not 58%, it's between 30 and 70 is considered good. And um, so yeah, that's the condition analysis. As you get into your financial analysis, it just lists your um, current balance and current contribution. And then we get into over the next 30 years, what we're recommending that you contribute each year. And so you can see in this case, um, and this was, this is a real condo that's being shown here, and it was um, requested by the property manager and board that we hold the um, condo fees static for the next five years and not start increasing. So you can see $332,000 per year for the next five years. And then after that, we increased at one and a quarter percent. And then we just up at the top kind of say, well, it's a, it's a 1.078% increase on average each year for the next 30 years. And by um, doing these contributions that we've recommended, uh, you, you should be in good shape for that 30 year duration. Um, that being said, everyone knows when you get a reserve fund study, there's a lot of stuff in two or three years that's much different than what was predicted. And so later on, I'll show you how our software makes those corrections as you go. And, and so this is, this is uh, I guess, our, our, our best estimate for what the next 30 years should look like. But again, we are trying to make this a dynamic or live study or the software makes a dynamic or live study out of it. And so you're, you're updating it on an annual basis and getting information to know whether or not, okay, keep contributing that amount or um, listen, uh, there are a few unknown circumstances that occurred and we're gonna have to increase uh, fees a little bit to ensure that we don't come into a big special assessment um, down the road. Um, Right here is just proof that we actually do some kind of market analysis on inflation and interest rates um, when we're applying them to the, the 30 year plan. And then finally, uh, this is just kind of boilerplate stuff talking about limiting conditions and, and credentials and stuff. Um, on every component, we then rate it between requires replacement and new. Um, and uh, then we also have remaining expected life, and that's that's purely based on how old it is and what the expected life is. But we we rank kind of both um, expected life and conditions as we are on site to um, take into account when we're making recommendation for those replacements. And then this is just kind of our format. Every component has three photos, um, a basic description, and then the comments is actually handwritten specific to that component. Um, and so as you roll through it, you can see there's there's varying degrees of expected life and condi current condition left in it. And so then I'll, I'll skip past all the components because they're all similar layouts or, or, or format. And then once we get to here, we lay out all the components, which I think most reserve fund studies have a page like this where 
it just lists all the components and um, the age, the life cycle, when we expect, what year we expect to replace it, and the cost if it were to be replaced today without inflation applied. And then um, this is something I don't think many reserve fund providers do, but we have this timeline which shows you the opening balance, expected expenditures, contribution, closing balance, and then average, average monthly per unit um, for each year going forward on the 30 years. And then as well, we list all the components that are expected to have replacement in each one of those years and, and the cost in um, uh, with, with inflation applied. And so it just kind of builds that timeline out so you can always run through and, and double check those. It's, it's just another tool that's in there. And then this is very small, but this was a big unit. And so there's there's just a lot of components listed there, which makes the font kind of small. Um, but we leave this table out, which I think everyone has seen in, in other reserve fund providers, um, reserve fund studies. And then that's the end. That's the end. Um, we sometimes attach stuff in an appendix. Um, the last thing I'll show you here is um, and I'll make this a bit smaller. This is uh, what if if you were to go with a premium report, um, which is then stamped by a professional engineer, and so you, you can see Reserve Fund, or sorry, Re Reserve Plus has a permit to practice, um, and myself and Taylor Smith, my my partner in this, we're both responsible members that can sign the study. If you want to go and and kind of add that level of uh, credibility or credential to your Reserve Fund study. Um, I'll move on now to the uh, actual sorry, to the actual software now, MyR Planner, and I'm going to bring up this as my example. And the reason why I bring this one up is uh, it was prepared um, uh, for a condo. The actual reserve fund study was not written by Reserve Plus. Um, it was written by another reserve fund um, study provider, which you're probably very familiar with because they're, they're one of the largest in Calgary called Reliance. And so we took this reserve fund study um, and pulled all of the financial, uh, sorry, the, the critical financial details out of it and then bulk loaded it um, into our system, which then generates uh, this 30-year this projection. Um, it would actually be a little bit different because it was their 30 year projection. So um, initially everything was above zero, um, but then we've worked with uh, a construction company called Fort Sands. And what we'll do, and it's, I, I, there's a cost to being subscribed to my R planner, but there's, um, I guess Fort Sands does it as, as basically a business development um, exercise will come to your property and do an on-site inspection. And it's basically an audit of the reserve fund study, the, the old, you know, two, three-year-old reserve fund study, where they'll pull out all of the expected expenditures over the next five years. So this table here that I'm showing you is actually from the, that Reliance Reserve Fund site that I had, had brought up briefly there. Um, and then they go to the site provide observations and comments on, on what they see, and finally come up with this, this new table of, of probable costs and, and recommendations for what they would replace over the next five years. And they took into account that uh, the um, property manager and condo board wanted to break down the stucco costs over four years and as well, the window costs over four years and, and phase it out. And so you can see they've, they've, they've got that broken down and they've got that taken into account. So then I took this table and applied it in this section here. Um, so you can see the windows were broken out into four years. The stucco was broken out into four years. Um, and so we updated and basically advanced or deferred the cost based on what Fort Sands had identified well on site. And we updated it here. And then once that was updated, we regenerated the forecast with, with those updates applied. You can see this goes into a negative 
cash flow position in the year 2039. So by having Fort Sands go and take actuals for actual and use their cost estimating system, and then bring that back to me for me to apply to our software, we generated this current forecast. And then with our software, you can click this, this button, which identifies, all right, if we want to kind of just leave things the way that they are today, go with the current contribution schedule. In year 2039, there's going to be a $288,000 special assessment required um, in order to not have a, a negative bank balance. Um, and then as well, we break it down to that the average cost per unit, um, this doesn't take into account unit factors, but the average. So if you know you're a smaller unit or a larger unit, you can kind of estimate whether you'll be higher or lower than that. But that will be your cost per unit as a result of this. Or we then have this button, which is the contribution increase button, which says, hey, if we don't want to be special assessed in the year 2039, we can um, start contributing more today and the average yearly, that's, that's an annual cost, not a monthly cost, the average annual cost per unit would be $361. So roughly $30 per month additional going forward to avoid almost $7,000 in special assessment down the road. And so that's how this tool works and, and and then um, I'm going to um, show you, I guess, with this tool then for your um, AGMs and the, the five-year plan and the annual plan that's required as part of that AGM and, and kind of required by the Alberta Condo Act. Um, if you click this Generate PDF button, um, then everything in this screen and in this, this, this forecast and, and the, the, the numbers below um, is, is what's required for that annual report and five-year update. And so then with that, this is your PDF. It's all ready to go just by kind of click of a button. Um, and you, if you had left it that you wanted to stay with the, stay as we are today and go with the special assessment in 2039, then you would have just left that button selected and it would have used that as kind of the, the, the five-year plan. But in this case, we've decided we want to start contributing more and so that's what our 30 year forecast looks like. And then it lists all of your expenditures over the next five years and what they're predicted to be as they've been updated also from, from Reserve Plus and Fort Sands um, coming on site to do that. So Stephen, I know all, the, all, the, all of our people that are listening to the presentation now are muted, but I can tell you they're all cheering right now. That's, a, that's, the, that's my favorite feature right there. The three different options, I can see quickly how far behind we are. I can look at different options to solve the problem because usually it's not 20 years out. It's usually five years out there we're going to be underwater. Now I can look at either a special assessment. I can look at contribution increases. I can see where expenses are coming up. I can get actual cost of expenses. This is where I got excited about the software. I just, this, this is, this is the bread and butter. I love it. I love this part of it. Love, love, love. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Um, and so I'll just also quickly show you, I've, I've got an edit locked because that's, it, it won't display the way that it does when it's not edit locked. But so if I, if I take that off, then this is how you actually work inside the system. And so um, in the case of, uh, let's go down here, uh, say your security system that you actually wanted to, to edit that, there's this edit update button here. And inside there, then there's a few options, but the one that um, I'm going to, that gets used mostly is this advanced defer option. And so um, in this case, it's listed for year six, which is 2023, um, because the study was actually written in 2018, even though we're talking in 2021, five-year plan. Um, I'm saying, listen, we've spent a lot of money on Windows and Stucco and everything else. We're like the security system, that's a lower priority. Um, we just need to move that out. So just with this this, this advanced defer button, then we can move this out to 2027 and click save. And then um, 
basically with, with that, it's, it, it actually no longer shows up on here. You can see it's listed, but we moved it forward four years. And so it's now shows up as, as $0 in this, this five-year plan. So you can do that with anything, move it forward, or in the case of the windows and stucco, spread it out over four years. Um, I mean, you need to have good information to put in there. Otherwise, you're, it, it's, it's going to calculate with bad information. But that's, that's how you, you do the, the modifying there. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is how our RFQ system works. Okay, and so with with this particular condo, I've I've picked it. It's a it's a real condo. It's actually a small um, self managed condo that we had on the system, but I just use it because they did a good job of using the the quotation request system. And so inside there, these are our actual again quotation requests that were. Um, quotation requests that were requested. Um, sorry about that, but it, it, these are our, our real ones. So in this case, it was a small concrete repair and replacement pro project. And so they laid out the scope that there's 500 square feet of concrete pavers. Um, they pulled in a few photos and then I'll, I'll show you how you, they actually put that together also, but they clicked the, the, the send out button and um, as a result, I don't know if you can see on the right hand side here, but three companies then put in um, quotes for this. And, and so it just quickly shows you the playing field, I guess. There's the lowest quote, the highest quote, and the average. Um, and so to view the actual physical quotes themselves, then you would just click this button. I'll show you all three actually. Click all three of those buttons. And with this, then Here's their quote, um, talks about themselves, what they're gonna do. And um, this is the larger scope. And then this is the, their actual um, quote that they then submitted was the $5,904 plus GST. Um, the next one then you can see again, comes through total 4147. Again, they state the scope and the purpose. And finally, um, these guys, you can see they just scanned theirs in manually, but you can see the actual physical quotes and then it, it gets pulled back into just a very simple overview. And so um, Holly and I are kind of working on this to, to make this suitable and, and, and to, to fit with Magnum York and, and how they are, are, are um, also trying to make this simple for property managers and, and condo boards to, to utilize. Um, the last thing that I'll show you is just roughly how, what's required to, oh, sorry, I just need to close that. What's required to request quote and how slick it is to, to pull it all in. So, um, and this will say asphalt replacement. Uh, 500 square feet, asphalt, parking lot, and you can provide more detail than that if you want. Um, we'll say that we want this by December 31st, and we'll make a decision by November 15th. And then um, say you wanted to Pull these photos down you can take your own photos because sometimes like these are my reserve fund study photos so they might not cover everything that you want but for a quick and easy way to just get some photos in there because most of the time the contractor is going to want to um come to site anyways especially for a project to like like an asphalt replacement if you want to throw some quick photos there's mine or if you want to take your own go ahead and take your own and, and upload them and then we'll say that we expect this to start on January 1st, 2022. 
And then the last thing here is to, to pick your, basically your vendor category. And so by clicking that, then you can, um, then it pulls up the, basically you can then hit send and any vendors that have been approved for use um, inside the system will receive an email of this quote request and then they'll all upload their quotes and you'll have that information to then make decisions and award work on. Um, the very last thing I'll show you is, is that if you, um, Actually, that's all I'm going to show you. <laughs> Excuse me for that. Um, yeah, I'll pass it back to to Holly to wrap things up, and we can probably start a questioning period. That was great. Thank you so much, Steve. Um, lots of good information in there. It's um, it's some really good software, and we're really excited to be sharing it with everyone. Uh, we have had some questions come in through the Q&A section. I see Peter has been answering some of them. Uh, Peter, were there any that you wanted to address to the whole audience? Uh, the only one that actually kind of popped up that about is, is, uh, is, a, is a stamp required on our reserve funds now? Uh, any change in the act, that kind of stuff? And uh, I, I'm, to my knowledge, there's no, no requirements at all. And what we see is buildings that have... Um, either have some requirements somewhere along the lines or they have some bigger issues on the go. Um, they want those stamps on there to get a little more support for the reports. Um, we don't see a lot of it, but there's definitely demand for it. And the nice thing is that we have an alternative rather than going to one of the big engineering firms um, um, and following that whole process with the firm, um, we now have an alternative to that and still get the same results, which is it's just awesome. It's an awesome option. And, and to elaborate on that, with the new Condo Act, there were some more specifications around who can write a reserve fund study, but um, uh, a certified reserve fund planner can write one, an engineer can write one, and an accountant can write one. Um, and there's varying degrees, I guess, between those those three, uh, uh, I guess, call it the, the, their credentials. Um, um, yeah, and, and so we qualify for writing any type of reserve fund study. And we also have the ability to stamp one if, if you would like it to, to, I guess, kind of be officially an engineered study. Plus the software. Plus the software. Which is basically, and again, we're going to get to the exact pricing, but it's about the same price as a regular reserve fund study. And you pay, you divide it by the number of years, like five years, I think it is what it's going to come down to. That's right. Yeah, we we sell them as, as a subscription, a five year subscription. And so I think our pricing generally lands about the same as most reserve fund planners. And we would typically be less than an engineering firm. And then we divide it by five. So you get to kind of amortize that cost over five years. And that's also pays for your software subscription. Um, and then you also have the option to hire an engineering firm or hire another company to write the reserve fund study. And then you can still bring it in and our, um, we charge a software fee then, which is that one's fixed. That one's $275 per year. And with that, then say you have a reserve fund study that's three years old, you're not ready for a new reserve fund study, but you liked what you saw with the software no problem. We just grab that other reserve fund study, load it into our software, and um, and and you're set. We're we're starting to do analytics and diagnostics on that um, reserve fund balance, and and then in two years, I hope that you you choose us as your uh, reserve fund provider for the for the updated study. Great. Uh, Steve, we've had a question come in uh, regarding the quoting system. Uh, so when requesting quotes in your concrete example, the request goes to all of the preferred vendors. For example, if you have 20 of them in there, would it go to all 20? Or are you able to select, say, three or four? Um, I'm working with Holly on this. And so it, it will go to... 
it can go to 20 vendors, but I think that we're going to, to keep it more um, to, to, to approved and vetted vendors rather than just going out to everyone. Right. And I think within the software, you know, if we had five vetted and um, five vetted vendors and they only wanted to receive three quotes, they could just send it out to three of those companies. Is that right? That's correct. And I think you can just send it out to three. However, if you have five approved vendors, I, I would send it to all five because there may be one that's busy or that's maybe not in their wheelhouse. And so in the interest of always getting three quotes, you should hit up as many vendors as, as you can. Great, thank you. Well, do we have any other questions? Does anybody else have any other questions? I haven't seen any more pop up yet, so. I did, I did want to say this uh, at the very end. Um, uh, Steve, thank you very much for the presentation of this software. I, I, every time I see it, I just, I love everything that's going on. I just want to like move stuff around. Um, the uh, uh, the uh, Steve had, had done an internal presentation, a deeper dive into the software for all our property managers um, a couple weeks ago. And so, uh, and I think actually a lot of reserve fund studies have gone in them already um, just to get the software uh, tuned up and stuff. So, um, so ask your property, when it time, comes time to you do your reserve fund planning, um, just ask your property manager for it and they're ready to rock and roll. And that's all I'll say. And thank you very much for coming this evening. <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Great, guys. Thank you very much. It was a awesome. pleasure. Okay. And thank you to all of our attendees that joined us today and engaged in the Q&A. Um, please take a moment to provide your feedback on today's webinar. Uh, you can do so at magnumyork.com slash webinar dash thank you. Um, lastly, be sure to check out our magnumyork.com webinar site for upcoming webinars. Uh, we're very excited to be bringing Roberto Noche back for another evening of case studies and Q&A in October, so be sure to check that out. Uh, we also keep all of our archived webinar recaps on our webinar registration page, so if you're ever wanting to reference back to one of our previous webinars, you are welcome and encouraged to go there, share them with your condo boards, share them with your condo owners. Uh, these are resources that we are putting together for, for you guys. Um, so please use them. And uh, with that, um, I, this, uh, I, uh, this will conclude our webinar. So have a great evening and um, we hope you enjoyed this information and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar. Good night, sure. everybody. Thank you guys. Thanks.